Let's discuss about radial nerve palsy. Before we know the radial nerve palsy, we should know about the course of radial nerve. So let's have a brief description of the course of radial nerve. Only important branches are being mentioned here. So radial nerve, before it reaches the spiral groove, it gives some branches to the medial head of triceps and to the long head of triceps. And in this spiral groove, it gives branches to the medial head and lateral head of triceps and branches to the anconis. So before reaching spiral groove, it gives branches to the medial head of triceps. And branch to the long head of triceps so and branches given off in the spiral group are branch branches to the lateral head of triceps and medial head of triceps. And branch to and conies. And before reaching the elbow, it gives off two branches. These two branches are to the extensor carpi radialis longus. And radialis. And after the elbow, it supplies two branches that's to the supinator and extensor carpi radialis brevis. And after piercing the supinator, it goes to the posterior compartment of the forearm and continues as a posterior interosseous nerve. Supplying the extensors of fingers and the thumb. And it gives up sensory branches. Ah. After giving out the posterior interosseous nerves, the superficial radial nerve con continues and supply some sensory branches to the dorsum of the palm so we will discuss about the radial nerve palsy
radial nerve can injured above the spiral groove at this portion this is called high radial nerve palsy So when there is a high radial nerve palsy, all the branches distal to this region are injured. So the branches to the medial head, lateral head, angonis, all these are gone. So you know that medial head of triceps. lateral head of triceps and conies all are injured these are chiefly these muscles are the elbow extensors So when there is a high radial nerve palsy, elbow extensors are, the nerve supply to the elbow extensors are gone. So elbow extension is affected. So there is loss of elbow extension. So next branches are, before reaching the elbow, it supplies two muscles. That is the Q radialis and extensor carpe radialis longus. This muscle is chiefly the wrist extensor. So when there is a high radial nerve palsy, there is loss of wrist extension because the nerve supplied to extensor carpi radialis longus is severe. So next branches, main branches, posterior intrusious nerve. Which is supplying the extensor. Digitorum extensor digiti minimi extensor indices and extensor halusis longus and Extensor halusis brevis. These three are the finger extensor. These two are the thumb extensor. And there is a superficial radial nerve which is giving sensory supply to dorsal of uh, dorsal two third and lateral three and a half fingers over dorsal aspect up to middle phalanx so 
so in high we will learn palsy there is loss of sensation over digital first digital space over dorsum of hand So these are the features of high radial nerve palsy. There is loss of elbow extension. There is loss of wrist extension. There is loss of finger extension. And there is loss of thumb extension. With loss of sensation over the dorsum of hand or the first digital space. So this occurs when the radial nerve is injured above the spiral groove. When the injury occurs. below the spiral groove and above the elbow that is this region is affected this is known as type 1 low radial nerve palsy we know that the extensors are supplied above this point in the spiral groove. Extensors of the elbow like median head of triceps, lateral head of triceps and the anconius are supplied above the spiral groove. So elbow extension is preserved. Elbow extension is preserved. All other movements are lost like wrist extension, is affected, fingers extension at the MP joint is affected. Then Thumb extension affected and there is sensory loss over first digital space over the dose that these are the features of type 1 low radial nerve palsy then type 2 low radial nerve palsy so type 1 occurs below spiral groove and above elbow and type 2 occurs this is the type 2 low radial nerve palsy this occurs below elbow joint yeah elbow extension is preserved So the branch of the extensor carpi radialis longus is given out above the elbow joint. So the nerve supplied to extensor carpi radialis longus is preserved. 
So wrist extension is preserved. And the movements which are lost are finger extension at NP joint, thumb extension, then sensory loss over dosum of first digital space. These three moments are lost. In general, radial nerve palsy results in a characteristic deformity which is known as crystal. There is an entity known as Saturday Night Palsy. So, this is a nerve palsy which occurs uh, after an alcoholic brinch when you sleep between the arm of the chair and your posterior aspect of the arm. So, this result in injury, so this result in palsy to the radial nerve because of compression of radial nerve between the arm of the chair and the posterior aspect of the arm. Compression <coughs> radial nerve between arm of chair and posterior aspect of arm here radial nerve is injured between the spiral group and lateral intermuscular sector That's all about radial nerve palsy. If you like the video and like to see more videos, please subscribe our channel.